Check one, two. Shame. Still. Just a quick one, this one, not even checking the screen to make sure I am centered on camera. So wide lines should work okay. Uh, having a very constructive experience at the moment where um, I seem to be having a uh, shift of the lens, I'd, I'd, I'd put it. Um, for a while I've been understanding and having examples presented to me in daily situations, moments, um, that thought consciousness does indeed have a physical math on its plane or its uh, you know field of influence however you want to put it because uh, not to separate it but just to define beyond uh, what we can you know see touch smell you know physically existent um, it's as fundamental as as that uh, and a result of it of both really if uh, we want to go down there, but um, uh, my direct point being at the moment is that thought does have mass and it changes uh, our environment because um, our very thoughts are procedurally generating um, this fractal experience that we're having, which is becoming more and more apparent because more and more people are having this experience and because of the law of, of you know, Mandelbrot fractal style um, iteration, um, we are uh, creating stronger responses um, to these uh, to thought really yeah like the fundamentals are changing as we move through this uh, en energy cluster physically and that represents our um, experiential um, change and shift where uh, suddenly you see the physical response of uh, your your most deepest subconscious thoughts um, you the every thought that you have, that what your subversive self, um, is presents itself physically, so you fucking get it. Uh, you know, I get a lot of body pain in response, and uh, certain I'm drawing attention to moments where I become uh, clumsy to an extent where it follows on in a comedic style. Is a direct message drawing attention to um, the physical properties of thought. Uh, because if it's an unbalanced form, like uh, if you threw uh, a misshapen ball of a rock or whatever, this trajectory is 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 not great. <laughs> an unskilled throw of uh, wonky geometry, um, your chances of uh, accurate destination are slim. But uh, if you will replace that ball with I don't know. Or you get to throw in a, a cricket ball and try that, you know, or a good weighty cricket ball. Like those things are precise. Um, they're designed to knock down a very thin little post. Fucking throw a fort like a cricket ball. Bloop. Uh, well done, uh, Mr. Fucking Cricket Man. But also, uh, yes, in parallel to that, um, throwing a ball, that ball very poorly is totally ineffective as well, as well as the form of the ball. So, yada yada. Um, Thus, me explaining the physical properties of um, thought. So, uh, this is the experience I'm receiving. Um, not receiving. The, fundamentally, the problem is here that we really have to change language. Uh, our words aren't quite sufficient for the dimensionality of experience that we're entering into now, uh, where we really have to change and transmute terms to better express them. Um, I think this sort of linear, uh, you know, low density, uh, linear time embedded language is cumbersome for that exo-dimensional thought variation. You know, how do you express that? The experiences that we're having are very fucking complex and we don't know how to trans mute them as best as properly. You know, this spoken language is in tandem with the, the body, the very thought processes that one uh, goes through to reiterate, to solve, because we are primarily uh, experiencing through um, the brain, the cerebral, you know, uh, various densities of that as we know about uh, certain brain frequencies that adhere to um, states of sleep or awareness. Or I'm not going to list them off because I can't remember the list. I've got to relook that up again. Um, 
it was a lot easier to find resources on that years back. I've been finding it very hard to now. And it's like I even had this program on uh, one of my old DOS machines that would could set manually the flicker rate and uh, pulse it of a CRT monitor, and it was actually encrypting into me. State like uh, I had a I had an awake dream while doing that. Uh, that combined with certain tones. Uh, it was completely real, it was a lucid dream as I was awake, but I could shift in there and it's like phasing out. Um, so there's something to that and there's an extension to that and the last few times I've looked for it, I'm, I can't admit that I've been looking for it recently, recently, but last few times like I haven't found anything like that. So if anyone's got an idea what I'm talking about, because this thing exists, let me know. Um, I'd love to set it up with a CRT. I'm, get something more detailed with modern technology that can pulse out even more um, uh, rad radical formations, I suppose. This is uh, part of my synthesis research stuff as well. Like FM syn synthesis is very interesting to me because it seems like the more, uh, if you were working purely with a sinusoidal form, like just the more that you add to that, you get the, um, uh, you know, the, the wave shape and properties, I can't remember the terms, I'm so sorry. Um, sometimes language just fails me, it becomes too complex. Um, I could show you what I mean. Um, it's really hot here, so that's a factor. Um, how long has this gone for? 6 minutes 42, I can't believe how much I can condense time in these forms. So the next stage is to put this up and just put it out and put it as me and representing and what I do and draw attention to it because that's all I can do. Um, so it's like a quick edit of it to get out the arms and arms or something, but like this is what I'm doing. So it has to be, has to happen. Um, yeah. Trying to get back on, on my phase now. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, all these experiences I'm having are pointing towards this phase shift or um, fre frequency technology that uh, it bypasses a lot of need for potentially damaging technologies which are used all around us. Like, one of the concepts I had was um, finding a uh, sort of a l luminescent form uh, of uh, detecting uh, electromagnetic frequencies at certain you know, variables. Because um, I mean, we're clouded in it now, we might as well make use of it and see if we can either turn it into something cool or transmute it completely uh, into um, related forms. Because uh, yeah, that's what I was saying about the FM uh, synthesis stuff, is like you can nullify waveforms if you, like if you know, you've got a sign, perfect sign. If you add the uh, that exact sign at 180 phase, it cancels itself out, right? So if everything that we're experiencing is um, accumulated in that way, the thought forms, which could start off as very uh, finely detailed um, forms and iterate on that, you know, that, fuck you know, what's the resolution of, of experience at that rate? So, <laughs> um, so then you eventually have this fractal that forms our experience because uh, waves on waves on waves on waves on waves as, as I heard from Dan Winner, um, I think I first heard that phrase in his, his, his uh, jolly tone. It was a, it was a very good wakey, uh, wakey sound, that one. And... Yeah, definitely part of my own research. Um, so yeah, that's why uh, working on a time sequencer is like really fucking important because I feel like that's the crux of all these forms is manipulating waveforms over, um, you know, very interestingly computated fractal forms. You got waves and waves and waves with these with these timing mechanisms that are uh, could potentially create waveforms that you know, permeate reality as we experience it, you know. Start uh, awakening ourselves as, as us, because, um, you know, we, it's interesting watching on the financial front at the moment on this planet, because, like, 
uh, trying desperately to shift to this decentralized like uh, digital currency which is still got this fundamental problem is that it's not trading in experiential knowledge one-to-one -one of human beings and we have so much information on on us little human beings on what we do and why and where and what what our deepest desires are and our uh, most crippling secrets and rah 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 all the way through your heritage because it's all on record and it's all been studied for a very long time using that resource you could do some really cool stuff like uh work out um through this this uh you know frequency based theory that um what what matches what what matches up what what do i need and who can pr provide it one to one we could do that um you know the where we've got self-learning uh, ais now it's fucking incredible it's ready for that so the ideas i have of bringing that together is right at the right fucking time because i can build like a you know a dedicated ai hardware like a fpga and have it running these computations based on um, you know all the data banks that are held in the NSA and CSA and every other corporation that holds that information rah, rah, rah. once we bring all that down we share that information we can actually use it as a open based resource um, and just simply use it as a you know, base pairing algorithm on it to find out what our needs are and who actually fulfills those needs why would we need any sort of money trading thing when we have the fucking internet now we have ways of getting resources to places that are like fucking incredible especially if you start bringing into uh other repressed technologies but um what we have on the surface right now is enough to do it you know they got far enough that we could do it and just break right out of the fucking system so they can't slow us down anymore you can't pull back the ascension of society any fucking more you know there's so much more we're fucking capable of and we know it and it hurts us fucking deeply because we know we're further in another permeance of time right now and yet we're here like i grew up on books where the ideas of space flight uh, were like fancied out in fluorescent wonder and i'm standing here now knowing that we can do that that those technologies we can build and go far beyond them and yet we're here in these little boxes of scrap doing fucking what was our knowledge like the knowledge is already there i can see things around me that build with the resources that we have with the tools that we have and we can advance hundreds of years further in a, a fucking year at most probably less than that you just stop fucking with uh you know the most natural resource that we have and that is our abilities and our ideas you know the very precise nature of what it is that we do you bring that on a one-to-one -one network with with every human being and suddenly why the fuck would you have anything to um, interfere with such a perfect system you know? <laughs> it's, it's not it doesn't run off any agenda there's no bias to it because it's simply start matching patterns and finding out what's the efficient rate of basically joy of, of the human experience you know the acceleration of the human experience you can measure it all in a way that it's completely un unbiased to you you wouldn't need to program in like uh elements of violence and stuff and whatever you just let it deal and trade with all the dark uh natures of of uh human society as it stands as well as all all the beautiful things that we do and it will balance out once that is traded directly without any interfering factors um you'll find it we actually start working as a self-healing biology and we that's basically the nature of you know it, it covers ascension in any, any form you know it's just like such a uh accelerated burst of 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 all of our history compressing into you know what has been referred to as singularity but i think that's it doesn't quite e express but you know a passing passing through of 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 the wave you know it's all here right now we just have to completely i guess uh throw off everything that we think is uh 
is important if it's, it's if it's something that humans could have come up with at some point does this reality serve me does it serve all of us does it actually represent almost unrepressed nature no I would say it doesn't because um, I do a lot with what I have but if instantaneously I had without restriction everyone that would understand this idea this is the thing where the internet is now we share so much that we know so much intimately about one another that we we can do this now you know like without having access to the NSA or anything like having access to you know excellent AI coding knowledge and hardware form that can actually snap the numbers fast enough we could do this with what we have from from scratch you know cut the database out don't even need it all just fucking do it anyway like don't need a thing I'll fucking code out on the computer it's like but if I knew who, uh, who to do the the hardware coding who to do you know the soldering who to do the the construction of the fucking box and the, how to network it up and how to blah 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 all the elements you know uh, then how, imagine how quickly it come up because like I've seen plenty of fucking talented people on the internet they're fucking everywhere doing things if I connected with them directly and we made this thing that helps both of us achieve our own uh, desires then um, it would be mutually uh, very good to do that because there's no trade of anything else because uh, in that complete system someone's helping them build build a house and they're helping that guy fucking make a sick computer to play um, laser brain games or whatever laser brain games that would look fitting on basically an, an Atari era cassette because la laser brain brain lasers pretty fucking advanced dude I think it'll catch on yeah um that sort of stuff would be involved um yeah it's hard, I don't know, I'm very tired, I might be trying enough, but I had to get something down because we've seen the dots now, and now I've got a fucking, i got to email fucking Cory Dodds dude, and not Cory Dodd, Cory Goods dude, and sort some shit out, so, oh yeah, sorry now, I guess, uh, I, yeah, boy oi, boy oi.